Have you ever wondered why the art fair that you picked sucks and that you're not making money at it or like how to pick the good art fairs, how to find them? Well, that's what I'm going to discuss in this video today. There's this magazine called Sunshine Artist Magazine and they have something called the Top 200 Art Fairs. And what they do is they have a thing, you can fill it out in here if you're an artist, where you can vote on the art fairs all around the country that are the best. One thing I really like about the Sunshine Artist Magazine list of the top best art fairs is that they divide them up between fine art fairs and craft fairs. So this way, if you know where your art fits, like whether you are a fine artist or whether you are a craft artist or whether your art sells better at whichever events that they are, then you can choose which shows of those are best in your area. And they also divide them up by the state. And so if you, let's say you wanna look at, I'm in Kansas, if I wanna find shows that are good in Kansas, I can look up all the shows in Kansas and then which ones are ranked on their list. And that will help me choose the best art fairs. Now, one caveat that I have is that these art fairs especially if you're not used to doing art and craft fairs. The art fairs in this magazine are expensive on their entry fees. Uh, oftentimes you're going to pay anywhere from $450 to $1,500 for a booth at some of these shows. It just depends on what part of the country you're in and how competitive the show is. Also, you have to apply to get into these shows through websites like Zapplication. Sometimes the shows have also their own specific websites to apply through. And so not everybody gets in. And sometimes they have strict guidelines regarding what kind of tents that you use to set up, how your display looks, things like that. So you have to know what you're getting into before you apply to these shows and look at all of the requirements that they have for artists. But I think it's really good using the shows out of the top 200 list has really helped skyrocket my sales numbers and my career as an artist. My rule of thumb personally is that if an art show hasn't been in the top 25 of their list in the last five years. I don't do the show. In closing, I would love to hear what you all think about art fairs. Please post your comments below. Also, if you would like to know more about running an art business and art fairs, I have lots of videos on my channel about that, so go check them out, and I will see you next time.